Hmm, what is the plan for today? Good question. Let me tell you what the plan is for today. Maybe I'm stalling just a little bit. Mm. Today, I'd like to challenge myself to see how many animals I can draw in like a set number of time. I'm thinking 10 minutes. And I wanna do it a couple times to kind of see if I improve. And the purpose, maybe you think, oh, it's just kind of uh, see how quickly you can draw a couple animals. No, that's not really what I want. What I'm hoping is that by doing this, I'll be able to like cut down what's necessary for an animal to look like an animal and to kind of like push my, I'd say like a abilities in simplifying things. So like a camel, you know, it needs four legs. It needs the head that looks like a camel. It needs its little body and then it needs its humps, you know? So how few lines can I use to make it look like a camel? You know, for instance, for an example, to help me with this task, I've got my sketchbook. I got a pencil. It's HB, so I'm hoping it'll erase nicely and then I can quickly like do a line art so I can plan it out and then quickly plop some line art on it. I'm not gonna include coloring, but if I get some really good ones, like after the time limit's over, I might add a little bit of color with some of my markers. And finally, this is a random animal generator. I have set it to just pop up one every time I hit rerun. So I have to draw it, I guess. So I got 10 minutes, five seconds, because it always takes me forever to move my hand from the timer for some reason. And then, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's all ready. I'm getting a little nervy, so must mean it's time to start. This is our trial run. We got 10 minutes and five seconds. Maybe I'll put a timer on the screen. I guess I just hit start and hit run. I'll have the list thing linked down below if you'd like to play along. Let's start. There's no use putting it off any further. Okay, here we go. First animal, a groundhog. Okay, I don't actually know what makes a groundhog look like a groundhog, but I'm gonna use a little reference picture that popped up here. Oh, he's got little pudgy arms. with like little, 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 those things. And he kind of has a big body with knees <laughs> and feet. And I can't see the tail in this picture, but I think they have like a little tail like that. And he's got little ears and uh, yeah. Oh, big, big, big cheeks. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's add some line art. Oh, I didn't get an eraser out. Mm -mm -mm. Let's just see how this goes. Does it look like a groundhog? Okay, so it has like little cheeks with a little lip. And then it has big cheeks. And then their little ears. And his head and then a will will ear. <laughs> and then this is like his front half with he has like it looks like kind of dark hands. And another one here. Hey, it's the first one. It's the first one. He's special in his own way. He's, he's, he's not so bad. I don't know what their tails look like, but I'll just have to do. Okay, there's our first one. Groundhog. All right, we have eight minutes, 26 seconds. Next one, next one. A donkey, a donkey. Okay, they've kind of got a square body. Legs. I'm gonna just draw this because it actually shows the whole body. <laughs> the hooves kind of go forward a little bit, kind of like the giraffe I was drawing. And they have a pretty big booty there. Well, this and uh, 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 this. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm just drawing at this point. Maybe I should simplify them way more, which I don't know if I'll go on this one or the next, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. It might be smart to simplify even more. Oh, they have really large heads, don't they? <laughs> mm -hmm. Kind of like a, this shape. And then there's a nose here. And there's an eye. Uh, the ear there. Um, no, is it looking like a dog? Okay. I feel like the body needs to be longer. I also drew this one way bigger. And this leg. This donkey really slowed me down. I just want it to look good. That's exactly what I'm like kind of trying to avoid is like details and like I wanted to see what's the fewest lines I can use and still have someone look at it and be like, that's a donkey, you know? Definitely kind of looks like a donkey. Make it a little rounder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's add in that liner because I made that rule for myself already. And the best one gets colored. That's the winner. <laughs> I'm using a 0.8 size line art, if you're wondering. Kind of hoping to have like a big chunky lines, you know? Oh, kind of like the way the mouth turned out. Uh oh, four minutes. But I've overspent my time on this donkey. And we obviously need a tail, and that should do it for donkeykins over here. I also drew it way bigger, so maybe if I can draw smaller on the next couple, I can improve that. 
as well. All right, next one, next one. A mirror cat. Ooh. So they kind of have, it looks like they're like wider at the bottom of the head. Kind of pointy and that has a very pointy snout. to the eyes and like the hair's darker around that. Kind of like a cat eye shape. And then the ears are here. The reference is scrunching down, but I'm gonna draw him upwards. Thinking of the Lion King. I didn't label this one. Does that look like a meerkat? Kind of looks like a monkey. Ooh, can you even see that? I was off the screen. Oh, you were just gonna go with this. I shouldn't be labeling them. I should have not labeled them and then I could show people them and be like, what animal is this? And then see if I actually accomplished my goal. If I had a stripey tail, I don't know if they have stripies. All right, this one looks like <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a minute left. I'm gonna try and do another one. A mongoose. I don't even know what a mongoose is. Ah. I do remember there was a cartoon where a mongoose ate something, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Or was the mongoose the good guy? I don't think so. Uh, is this a mongoose? Uh huh. <laughs> Fifty-five seconds. It doesn't matter. This is gonna be a mongoose. Kind of like a little ear thing. Ricky Ticky Tabby. Is that a mongoose? Is that something to do with a mongoose? There you go. Is that a mongoose? <laughs> line art, line art. A little nose in the end and a mouth. Oh, here we go. This is more like the simplification I was thinking of. See, with a smaller time limit, it's kind of happening. I don't even know if this is what a mongoose is, though, so, you know, we might have other problems, but it looks kind of cool. It looks like a cool animal. A little fuzzy. There you go. Mongoose? Mongoose? Oh, and the time is up. All right, let's assess the situation here. I like this one the best, and I spent the least amount of time on it, which makes me think for the next attempt, my goal is to try and get five animals and way simpler. I think I was kind of on the right track there, but it was like the first thing I've drawn today, so, you know, got to give myself a break anyway. The meerkat, though, there's no excuses. <laughs> this guy, I really like. I don't know what it is. It's just the, like, the little dot eyeball, the really quick shapes. I really like this little leg because he's got like his little knee and then the foot. Like I really like that shape. Giving me hope that this next attempt is gonna turn out way better. So yeah. Should we do it again? Mm? And try to be better? Mm. We must be better. You know what would be a nice cool thing to do too is like after I'm done maybe put a sticky note over some of the animals that didn't quite turn out right and see if I can fix them and then look up actual references. We're just gonna start another one. See what animals we get. I'm gonna hit the start. 10 seconds starting now and a new animal. We've got an aardvark. Okay, so he's got like the long nose with a little thingy at the end and big ears. I don't know what his body looks like, but we're gonna give him little like long thin legs and then the back legs. I think probably kind of like a pig. I don't know if that's accurate. Hmm? Like a dish. From the reference, it looks like the front of them's a little skinnier. We'll try that. And then he's got a little tail. Oh, hey, see, there we go. This is what I'm thinking. Keeping it nice and simple, not adding too much detail. Basically, they have the pointy ears. They have that long triangular nose or face, I guess. And they have legs, which I'm just using rectangles for because we ain't got time for that. Let's just continue. We can create a tail and the legs. I think I'll shrink them down just a little. And we'll color in the back leg, just for a little contrast. Oh, and we need the eyeball. There you go. That looks like an aardvark. I should probably write it. I always like words that have two A's at the beginning. I just think they're cool. All right, next animal. I think we're on the right track. We've used two minutes already though. A lamb. Okay, the reference only shows the head, so we're gonna have to just... Okay, they have ears that kind of stick out sideways. Their eyes are kind of on the side of their head. They have a nose that kind of looks like a smile and a smile that looks like a nose. <laughs> and then their hair kind of like comes out bigger than their face. And then, you know what? I'm gonna just give them a big round body. We'll give them little short legs, full of fur. Oh man, we're getting on the right track. Look at a little trial and error will get you. <gasps> Cute! All right, we're on the right track. I think I can finish this one in less than two minutes. <laughs> little nose that looks like a smile. I'm gonna make it kind of fuzzy looking. Not like connecting all the lines. I might actually give him little feet that stick out of the fuzz. So you can see just how fuzzy he is. See how much more simplified this is? Like I could have drawn a sheep trying to get all the little joints and everything in there. But I'm trying to like not, you know? <laughs> okay, I think that's it. I think I did the ears the wrong shape. We'll go with that. Okay. 
don't know what I just did to the face. But then we have our lamb. Oh, it's supposed to be a lamb. Kind of looks old. Oh, well, that's number two. Hey, okay, we used another two minutes, so. Chipmunk, chipmunk. Okay, I have no time to even think. We have the back legs with a little foot and his front body with a big old head and his ears are kind of rounded and he's got big eyeballs like this, well nosy like this and in the reference he's holding a grape. Maybe I will do something similar. Maybe just hands and a big old tail. Well, it's a chipmunk, so it's kind of a smaller tail. And they actually have a pattern, which I feel like is kind of important. So we'll throw that in there. Kind of drew the head drawing wrong. Facing the wrong way. Okay, that looks good. Start the line art. Before we use too much time. Ah, come back. Eyeball, eyeball, ear shape, like whatever that shape. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And we have a face. Whoop. He actually has fingers, so we'll draw little fingers in there. And toes as well. About four of them, it looks like. And tail, like so. Oh, and then the pattern. And there's one kind of poking out through the other side. And there's also a little couple lines on the face. That'll do me. There's a chipmunk. <laughs> the handwriting is even worse. Okay, three minutes, 20 seconds. Next one, next one, next one. Come on, hedgehog. We have dry really tiny noodles. I want to just quickly do this. Kind of got a triangle face, eyeballs, little nose, some ears, <laughs> and little legs. And it kind of like comes to a flat, like their pudge kind of goes over their back legs, it looks like. So basically the top of their head is that color, and that comes down this way. And this is all dark and hedgehoggy. Is that a hedgehog? <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can squeeze an extra one in here. Here, here, eyeball, eyeball, nose. Kind of looks like a mouse. Like a mouse and a turtle mixed together. How do you like do this pattern? Maybe if I just add like this stuff. A little liner magic. Might add a little foot back there somewhere. I think there's a tail. I'm an old tail. I don't know if that's true. Or I just completely destroyed all of the hedgehog lovers appreciation for me. <laughs> but there we go. There's a hedgehog. We have a minute. Ooh, I think I'm going to get an extra one in here. Hedge. Hug. All right, next one, next one, next one. What the heck is a shrew? It looks like it has a very long nose and ears and eyeball. You can see the front of its legs in the reference picture and it looks kind of like this. And I have no idea what the rest of his body looks like, so we're just gonna make it up. And I feel like this thing has a tail, so I'm gonna give it a tail like that. There we go, there's my... <laughs> See, when you don't know, you just gotta go with something. It's got like weird hair right here. <laughs> it's an interesting animal. I'm gonna look these up when we're done. Like I've heard of them, but I don't think I've ever seen one. Not even in a nature documentary. There we go. Don't wanna spend any more time on that because I don't think I can get it better. True. All right, we have 30 seconds. Can I get another animal in here? Meerkat, no, don't do this to me. Okay, well, here we go, redemption. It's like in the exact same pose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, this isn't working. I overthought it again. And that's time. Meerkat number two. <laughs> How many was that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I did get one extra and half of another. But we gotta look up a shrew because what on earth is a shrew? Okay, these are way cuter than whatever the reference was. Okay, some of them do have the long noses, but they don't look nearly as disgusting as whatever image they put on there. I'm gonna draw one with these references. Like, basically, it's much chubbier and fuzzier looking. Like, it's got a big body. It has, like, a tail like a mouse. It's kind of, like, put with little feet. It's pudgy here with little feet too. And then it has its head. And then some of them have longer noses than others, depending on the breed, I guess. And the ears don't look quite as crazy. It's got like whiskers. Look at that thing. I don't know what, <laughs> what that is. And that tail. Your shrew number two. And they're even cuter when you add the color because they're like, they're kind of like a, a brown with like a pale little belly. And actually, some of them have little pink feet, so we'll have little pink feet. Oh, that's the perfect color. <laughs> Pale cherry pink. That's the Ohu. I think it's from the pastel set. For this Ohu, we have sand. Mmm, no. Bloop, 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 bloop. I want something less saturated. Eh, I think it would look cute though. It doesn't look like the references, but it'll look cute. Texture. Maybe some like gray on top of that. There you go. There's my little shrew. I'm still just kind of bewildered by the reference image that they had in the generator. <laughs> All right. I think you can turn repeats off. Yeah, duplicates. Turn that off. Let's try again. So we got one, two, three, four, five, 
and a half done. So let's uh, let's shoot for six this time. Maybe I can go even quicker. If I don't get six done on this next one, I think we'll do it one more time and uh, I won't use the pencil. We'll just go in with the liner. We'll see. We might get some funky looking animals. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start up the next timer. 10 minutes, starting No. A cougar. Oh shoot, that's not a very good reference. But like they're cats, right? So they have heads and ears and whatnot, and big eyeballs, and they kind of have heads like this, and like very muscular bodies by the look of this. Ay, ay, ay. Think I'm going too detailed. Um, ay, okay. <laughs> Let's try drawing it smoother. Um, I need a better reference. <laughs> okay, we're off to a fantastic start. We're already a minute in. I'm gonna just try and draw it really small. You know what? Maybe it'll just take me 10 minutes to draw a cougar. That's fine. That's just what happens sometimes. <laughs> I'm just going cat. I'm not sure what else to do. Better yeah, cat? I don't know. We spent way too much time on this, so we're just gonna go for it. Some ears. There we go. Uh, wait, the nose looks really that's what we're gonna have to have for now. We're already got seven minutes left, so I'm just gonna hit the next one. <gasps> a bunny! Okay, I can do this. I can do this. We're gonna do a little punch, a little head. We're gonna have eyeballs and ears. Like that. Uh huh. And then a little, little leg. Mm hmm. We gotta, we gotta really simplify this one because we have no time. That is beautiful. We'll keep it. <laughs> Look how much I've simplified that face. And tail. Bunny. Oh, we should probably give him a nose. All right, we got five minutes, 55 seconds. Next, next, next. A moose. Okay, we could do this. Cause as long as it has antlers, people are gonna know. Ready? Watch this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right, right. Basically they have like eyes like this and a big old nose. Okay, this one's ending up really big. I also do best when the reference actually shows what I need. Back legs there, some kind of tail. I think we should simplify the legs a little. Yeah, little moose. Now the reference doesn't have a tail, but I'm gonna add something. It just looks weird. I'm gonna guess it's more horse-like, like maybe a deer. Also, this looks like it has something like this. I don't know if that's true. We're going with it. Erase that a bit. Add in our liner. And like a hunchback almost. With legs and hooves. Have a tail of some kind. That's our, that's our moose. Three minutes, three minutes. We're gaining time. A musk deer. I don't know what that's different from a different kind of deer, but it's got a very cute little face. Ears. I guess it has sort of a, more of a body than that. I think what I'd like to do next is uh, do a little <laughs> study on how, I don't know what they're called, but you know, like animals that are kind of like horses. So like have four legs. I would like to do a little study on how to draw their legs. Cause that is where I think I'm really suffering whenever I get like an animal like that. The leg. I'm like, I never know what to do. I also don't know what a musk deer is, so that's something I'm gonna try and look up when we done. See if I <laughs> did it justice. Is our musk deer? All right, next one. Next one. A budgerija. It's some kind of bird. Got a head. We have a beak and an eyeball. Most birds do. And legs. Need those little things like this and a big old tail. That should do me, right? <laughs> how, how does it look any different from any other bird? I don't know. I'm not an aviary expert. Let's look at like spots and stuff we can maybe add. And we'll give him a stick. Hey, eh? there's our budgerigar. I do not know how to spell it. Eight seconds, can I get a third one? A zebra! Yeah. Zebra. There you go. All right, how many did I get? Looking back, the cougar's not as bad as I remember, like, freaking out about it being. Like, it does look like a big cat. Okay, how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five. I only did five again. Five and a half. Seems to be my limit. And I spent, like, didn't I spend, like, three or four minutes on the cougar? Sheesh. Let's color this guy in. He was green. He had, like, a pink sort of beak. There you go. Little birdie. The thing is, if you had to draw that, I think people would be able to guess what that is. So if I'd gotten to the line art, I think it would have counted. What I would like to do is just find a way to simplify animals with hooves. Legs. I wonder what that's called. What is an animal with hooves called? Artiodactyl. 
Tila, or even-toed ungulates, which include the pigs, hairies, hippopotamuses, camels, chevrotans, deer, giraffes, pronghorn, antelopes, sheep, goats, and cattle. Make a sticky note. We can practice on our moosey. Wait a minute. Why the heck does it show a killer whale? They evolved from even-toed ungulates, so some modern taxonomists combine the two under the name Cetartiodactyla. Well, anyway, for my purposes, I'm talking about ungulates with legs. I think I'm gonna look, don't laugh, I'm gonna look at illustrations of My Little Pony and see how they simplify it. So they do the front leg, skinny at the top, and then it gets wider into like a hoof shape. Let's give this moose My Little Pony body. Basically, on this show, they start where the leg would come out, and go to where the hoof was, and kind of angle it down, and then here, they do the same, but kind of angle outwards. Uh, okay, yeah, it's, it's a way of doing it. I feel like it might be too simple for what I've already got going on here. Maybe not. Hmm. And the other leg would be like this. And then this back leg then. They do it a little differently for the back leg. They take the butt and kind of come inwards. And then they kind of jet out from there and then find the trunk of the foot. And then the front of it though just does the same thing as over there. So this leg coming a little more would look like this. There's a very simplified version. I think I'd like mine to have more of a hoof shape, so I'm gonna like chisel in there and come out more there. Color that in. Same thing for back here. That's still extremely simplified. It's an improvement. There we have a very simplified <laughs> a moose. What's another cartoon that draws ungulates? Although I don't actually know if a horse is an ungulate because it didn't say it on the video. <sighs> but let me try and find another cartoon. Like, well, it's just a cartoon moose. See what other people have done. So I'm seeing kind of a common thing. Let's do it with the donkey. I'm seeing a way of doing it as basically kind of have all this the same, but then the front leg kind of is just straight. And then the back kind of is similar to the My Little Pony where it kind of goes out and then down like this. So that would be like a different way of doing it. It definitely makes me think of um, Eeyore. Should we go one more time? I kind of would like to add more color to some of these. We could do sheep. <laughs> we could do the sheep. <laughs> Done. Actually, we'll just add a little bit of like, we could use gray. With like a lightly pink face. No. I colored the sheep. I would like to go one more time just to see if I've learned anything. Guess we'll turn the page. Okay, we're gonna go for a new record, six. This is my last attempt. Start the timer and go. A doe, hey. Doe, a deer, a female deer. I didn't leave any space. Give it a neck too, cause that's important. And now let's figure out these legs. Hey, uh, I think we've reached sort of a solution. The only problem is that Adrian is at a really interesting angle. Let's just do the eyes. The ears off. Does not look like a doe. What did I do? Is it something about the proportions? Looks like a different animal. Make the ears a little smaller. We'll try it on the line art. Oops, wrong eraser. <laughs> Let's see if we can solve it with the line art. That's always a great idea. I think that's it for this guy. <laughs> Let's do another one. Okay, chicken, chicken. Chickens are very, uh, this shape with a little head on the top and this one has a little thingy like this and this is kind of like where the feathers are and he's walking so he's got a little foot like this and another little foot like this see this front part should probably come up a little more and yeah there we go that's chicken uh, well it'll have to be i want to beat my record eyeball this little thing little beak there's the body like this there you go. Chicken, chicken! All right, next up, next up, next up, a wombat. Is that a real thing? I thought that was a Star Wars thing. <laughs> I'm obviously know everything about animals over here. <laughs> oh, he's got little eyes. That's kind of cute. Very, very fat little limbs. That's my favorite to draw. And little legs. Yeah, it looks like kind of a chunk tail like that. Oh, that's what Mars is gonna look like. The little ears are actually kind of more pointy than that. Back leg, stretch sure nice and soft. They actually do have feet, but we're not gonna draw those. We are on the time crunch here. There you go, there's my wombat. Next one, next one, pony, pony. Okay, come on, we do this, we can do this with your head. Ears, nice neck of a horse. Come on, just take my little pony. Let's get this done. Oh my gosh, I don't like dance. <laughs> 
Something's wrong. I think the legs need to be a little slimmer. It also has hair. It's literally a pony. Why didn't I just draw my little pony? <laughs> I'm gonna try and fix this one with line art again because that worked so well last time. But we're at three minutes left and I would really like to beat my record. Ooh, I don't know what I did wrong there. Okay, that's it. That's, that's all we got time for. Next, next. A hog. Triangle face. We grew these recently. I could do this. Shorten that mouse a little. And then little legs. And a little squiggle. There we go. There's a pig. There's a pig. There's a pig. There's a pig. I do not know how much time we have left. I'm too scared to look. We're gonna erase all the pencil at the end. One minute and a half. One minute and a half. Next one. Next one. A porpoise. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Tail. Tail. There we go. Looks like it. This will do me. Yeah, purpose, purpose. 47 seconds, 47 seconds! Beaver, beaver. <laughs> Just say it a million times and I think that makes me draw faster, I don't know. Tail, right? Uh-huh, and a big old nose. And I don't see any ears, uh, but it seems like there should be some. 30 seconds. <laughs> Eyeball, little head, big cheeks, and uh, body. It's kind of got webbed feet and the tail. I'm gonna give him little ears because I feel like he needs them. Next, next, five seconds. <laughs> Crab. Let's erase the pencil. Okay, see this was kind of more what I was going for. See how like simplified they are? What were they called? This was a deer. No, it was called a doe. This was a chicken. This was a wombat, which I should look up. This was a pony. This was a hog. This was a porpoise. I don't remember how to spell it. <laughs> and beaver. Now oh, crap. But Okay, something I always loved about animals is just how different they all look. Like obviously you have some that look similar and these are classified as ungulates, but they still look so different. And like you can simplify them this much and still kind of look at them and know that they're different animals. I just, I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated by that concept. I think we should color one. Maybe the little piggy. I forgot what color I used for that. It was so purple. What's this? <laughs> little piggy. But yeah, here is me trying to draw as many animals as I could in 10 minutes. I managed to do seven. And I'm very proud of it. And I also kind of learned some new ways to simplify some of these animals. I think my favorite. I really like the bunny. I really like the sheep. I like, didn't even write that down. Mongoose. Mongoose. I really like the way the artwork turned out. That was like the first one that like really started work. Well, no, this was the first one, but like this was the first one, like a decent amount of time to go that I was able to do it. And I'm really happy with these. I think they turned out like obviously <laughs> they're not going to museum, but like it was really, really fun. And I feel like I learned a lot in kind of a short amount of time. So yeah, I recommend it if anyone would like to try it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I drew a bunch of animals in as short amount of time as possible. <laughs> I'll see you guys on next week and I hope you have a delicious evening. Oh, well. Bye.